right guys, I am here on a desert river. Very hot, about 90 degrees right now. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I have not fished this stream in over two years. I've actually never fished it in the month of July. So just before you even get there, you can start thinking about midges year round. That's always a possibility. Streamers year round, that's a possibility. So drilling down a little bit. Midsummer, you think about PMDs, you think about caddis, and of course you think about terrestrials grasshoppers, beetles, ants, wasps, bees, spiders, all of those things. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna probably put on a terrestrial, maybe like a hopper, do like a hopper dropper setup. So hopper dry uh, about 18 inches down to a PMD nymph. It's gonna give it a cast up right close to the bushes here. Let's see if I can pick up a fish here. Right by that bush. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, decent fish too. Second cast. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, now he came undone and I hooked him on the dropper. <laughs> well, that's crazy. Another benefit of fishing a dry dropper. Wow. Got my line all messed up here. Oh gosh. Decent brown. Came up for the hopper and ended up getting him on the dropper. How's that? we go awesome first fish second cast not the biggest fish in the world but decent all right let's get him back in the water here perfect all right two casts one fish that's great on the hopper dropper setup. So I'm gonna give that another shot just right next to the to the bank there. I just threw that really tight up underneath those kind of overhanging limbs and second cast, a little closer to the bank and Brown came up and grabbed it. So see if there's another one in there. Especially with this wind picking up, it can sometimes kick terrestrials off the branches into the water. So let's see what happens. Work my way up a little bit. See if I can get one behind this boulder. That's a tough mend. I'll give it a little twitch. The other thing I like to do in my dropper setups is I always try to fish the dropper with fluorocarbon. So I've got that dropper with 5X fluorocarbon. And the reason is because fluorocarbon sinks and monofilament generally floats. So it just kind of helps those nymphs get down a little bit more without having to add any additional weight. All right, little reach across. Little twitch here and there never hurts on a terrestrial. Lost my line, there we go. Pitch it way up there. Coming into the terrestrial zone, there's a fish. Nice, on the, on the hopper. Sweet, oh yeah. Another brown, it looks like, coming right at me. Oh yeah, sweet, awesome. Fly comes out already, love that barbless hook. Nice little brown there. All right, I fished here a couple different times with that hopper dropper setup. Got a couple fish, one that swiped at it I didn't catch. So now I'm gonna try it with the Euro nymphing rod. Just go down with like kind of a flashback um, hair's ear Euro nymph. Got a little PMD emerger above that. So there's a real deep slot right here. I just gotta give this a try before I move on. So let's see what happens. All right. Give this a shot up here. Whew, that wind is taking the line. Kind of hard to get a drift. That wind like that. 
Oh, there's a fish moving. That's for sure. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, decent. Nice, nice brown. Awesome. Oh yeah, good fish. Took that bottom hairs there. Wow, just a flash before I even felt him. Another fish moved out right from underneath my feet when he swam in there. Nice brown. Awesome. Cool. Third brown here. The barbless hook comes right out, which I love. It's great. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Get him back. Sweet. Decent fish right in the middle of the run. Let's move up river, try it by these boulders or something. All right, just gonna try it upstream here around these boulders. A couple little seams of water going around. It's pretty shallow, but I learned down there that these fish are holding in some shallower water. So I think it's just good to give it a try and just see what happens, see if you can pick one up. Try in close here first. Ooh, off the rock. Come swipe that. There he is. And he takes it right there. Boom, first cast fish. And it's a beast too. Oh yeah, he's at my feet. That is awesome. That is so awesome. That was great. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can get this guy in this fast water. He's he's a toad. Come on. Oh boy. Nope. Now I went to the dropper. Oh boy. Yep. I'm gonna lose this fish. Doggone it. Okay. I'm gonna have to go after him. Oh wow, he's a big brown. Okay, I made it back. That guy was a beast. That's a good fish right there. Okay, let's get him back. Whew. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is awesome. That's a first cast fish right there. Just came up. He is sitting right next to that boulder. And I just cast the fly up, let it sit, and he just came up and grabbed it and ripped me down river. All right, guys, just moved upstream a little bit, so I'm going to try again with that dry dropper. Keep it close here at first. Fly is floating great. It's only about 15 inches deep, maybe. Work my way out just a little bit deeper. 
Oh, nice fish right in the middle. Looks like a rainbow. Just came up and took it. Oh, keep him tight. Keep him tight. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yep, rainbow. Took that dropper. So there you go. Doesn't have to be right next to the bank. Let's get him unbuttoned. Nice fat rainbow here. All right guys, I caught a lot more fish on this day, but I am gonna save that for the next video where I fish into the evening and I catch a lot more fish on grasshoppers and PMDs. And it's just a great time on this beautiful desert stream. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss that next one, and I will see you next time out on the water.